listen bro let me show you this diagram real quick this is where you are in your life when you are content when you're happy with your life and you finally found meaning you know what the purpose of your life is this is where you're at but in order to get here you need to cross these moats that are like surrounding it and if you don't know what moats are moats are what castles castles used to use back in the day they would have like this castle and they dig like this 20 foot ring around it and just fill it with water and alligators and stuff so that if like some intruder is trying to invade the castles they just got to put their drawbridge up and the only way for you to get into the castle is by swimming across or getting a giant ladder and like climbing over the castle walls and whichever one you choose you beat yourself a harder, tar easier target because it's harder. You're like a lot slower in the water, and you have to like stop moving when you're climbing up the ladder. So it's like pretty hard to like make it into the castle, and that's why moats are so effective. But these moats, instead of being just water, these are the desires in your life that are taking you away from reaching this point. We could eat, literally be, you know, travel. You haven't traveled the world yet. You know, you don't have kids. You don't have a wife. You don't have the body that you want. You, I don't know, hundreds of stuff. Imagine like there's so many different ones that you have no idea what you, you probably like, unless you take some time to think about all the stuff that you want in life, you're probably going to have like, it's going to look something like this, bro. And the biggest one for all of us is money. You know, we put so much emphasis on money, on like attaining wealth, that it becomes literally the biggest motivator for us. Like it, we want to survive and live, so we need to make a lot of money to live the life that we want and then be happy with our lives to be able to get here. And for you to cross all of these, just getting across this first one's probably going to take your whole life. And it's like you we've subscribed to this idea that we're going to work our whole lives we are going to spend our 20s our 30s our 40s working and grinding non-stop investing money into index funds to make like a penny a day and we grind till we're 50 to like retire 10 years early and then we live our life and it just feels so backwards to me because why Am I going to wait 30 years before I start enjoying my life? Why can't I enjoy my life now? And I realized that for all of us, the reason why we don't enjoy our lives like that is because we're busy trying to cross this like first layer of our life, this first desire of our life, which is money, before we feel happy. Now, if you can't obviously just say i'm gonna stop making money to be happy because you, you're gonna run out of money and the world we live in just doesn't allow that but instead of like having the desire for money why not like get rid of it entirely so that this first layer is gone right so i'm still going to make money but it's not a desire of mine anymore. It's not something that's holding me back from thinking about what I want to do with my life. Like what's actually going to make me happy instead of like grinding away making money all my whole life. Because how would your life look if money didn't exist? You know, if money didn't exist, your life would look completely different than it does right now. If you were working, you would probably be working on doing something that's a lot more meaningful to you that like what you would actually really enjoy doing other than going to some job that you hate or you actually whether it's a job that you hate or don't like you know that there's something else that you would probably want to be doing and that's probably the thing that you would do if like money didn't exist like if this ring didn't exist and so when i realized that i realized that I don't really need money to be happy. I just want to like live my life in order to be happy. It completely changed like my like relationship with money. Like the relationship I have now is just that like money is literally just a tool that I have that I can use to help my dad help and buy like some food or something. You get rid of money, right? And then you also get rid of all these other ones that like are related to money. What do you have left? You literally have 
just contentment. If you get rid of all your desires, you forget, you get rid of, you get rid of your need for all these desires, then you, what you're left with is just happiness. What you're left with is just feeling content. Living life. Of course, that's like a perfect world. In a perfect world, we'll live with no desires, but you have natural desires of ours that would be kind of dumb to like suppress like having a wife and children bro like you be unless like you really are against starting a family then naturally this is just like a desire that everybody has that's like completely like natural but you'll truly be content with it if you're truly content with not having anything at all because you don't get to choose your life you don't get to choose what happens to you whether good or bad but you can choose to react to it you can choose whether you're going to let this affect your mindset and like put you into a good or bad mood or you can choose to happen to let it happen to you you experience it but you don't put your life satisfaction on it you don't let the fact that you're broke right now determine the quality of a life you don't let the fact that you never had a girlfriend you're not married you don't have kids of your own you don't let anything stop you from feeling content you can't choose what happens to you but you can choose how you react to what happens to you and so if you have the thoughts like if you're thinking to yourself that man my life sucks everything sucks like this everything is just terrible then you will be putting yourself in suffering that wasn't necessary if you had the thoughts like this is an opportunity for me to grow how is this going to level up my character how am i going to grow from this it changes your perspective where you're not suffering you're growing and like completely changes like your brain like how you interact with the world and stuff and whatever it's uh, it's definitely hard to swallow because naturally like over the years we've developed desires that we want in our life that we're like so especially like seeing everybody else do it like we're so connected in this world that we feel that if something if, if everybody else is doing something we want to do that too but you really don't a lot of our natural desires come from when we were children because we're just like this blank canvas that hasn't been painted on hasn't been messed with and so like we have these innate desires in our life that we would probably benefit from spending time thinking about what did we want as a child what did we like enjoy doing me personally i remember i'd sit i'd like get all my work done when i was like five or six years old in class and as soon as i'm done with my work i'm walking around and i'm helping other people like solve problems too like this is like one of my earliest memories bro like just walking around when i'm done with my work and that definitely like realizing that made me realize too that i really enjoy teaching people so like if i'm spending time teaching people i'm probably going to enjoy my life a lot more literally everybody is different some people love making jokes some people loved i don't know just interacting with people whatever it is something you have something that like you really resonates with you and it came from like your childhood basically but then we have all these life experiences that mold and shape us canvas of your life is painted by the experiences of your life and the experiences of your life is painted with the colors of your thoughts so you see people like getting nice cars you see rappers talking about getting these diamond bracelets diamond necklaces and stuff and you start experiencing that you start experiencing other people get these like material items and you start thinking to yourself if i have this i will be happy too now all of a sudden getting a lamborghini is a desire of yours getting a diamond cuban necklace is a uh, is a desire of yours you know all these desires that you have because of the experiences you've gone through and the way you've interpreted these situations completely shape your desires and so if you can figure out where all your desires came from where did your desire for more money come from where does your desire for these material objects come from or like anything else bro if you can figure out why you have this desire if you can figure out the reasoning behind your desires then you can destroy that desire you can pursue it too of course but i feel like if you're pursuing one desire you cannot put that same level of effort and energy into pursuing another desire and so if you have two desires like getting rich and buying a lamborghini or spending time with your family you are probably going to have to sacrifice one desire for the other and so because of that reasoning i figured that I just want the desires that I want to have 
or like the desires I have currently it will help me be a better father it will help me be a better husband be a better Muslim these are the desires I have in my life and so I've revolved my desires I've revolved what I want in my life around those like three like specific like accomplishments achievements in life and because of that I know what I want to do with my life and I also know like what I want to do to be and I know like exactly what will make me happy and what will not 